My Halloween costume. I found some uh, spooky items in the unit. That creeps me out. Well, come on, Kenny. Come on, What's going on? What the hell? What is that? What the heck does he have? Well, 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 check it out. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. What? I bring come my on. boy with me. Oh, Barry's here? Yes, <laughs> Yeah. I missed you. Who's got a knife? You ready, bro? Let's get us a unit. He wow. still looks good in poster board. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? We bought this? Calm down. Oh, knives. What the hell you gonna kill with this? Like a video game knife, huh? It might be worth something, man. What we got, Bear? Oh, look at that. I ain't never seen a black skeleton here. What the, how you feel, cousin? Damn, crystal head. Finally, I think I see something of value. Barry better watch yourself. I'll throw his ass in the dumpster. Look at this. Man, this year is a crystal I seen on Ben Potter's diaries. And when they put that crystal out, all kind of happened. I think they all belong together, bro. And I think we need to go get this checked out. We oh, can't do it. I can't do it. Barry couldn't do it. Kenny can. I found some uh, spooky items in the unit. This shit crystal <laughs> thing. Oh. That's um, crystal skull. Skulls are very popular for communing with spirits. Oh. And if it has a face carved onto it, it means it can communicate with you. This ain't nothing about voodoo, right, Chair, right? No, 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 no. The healers would use it. So that's a positive. It's a positive thing, yes. Uh, well, let me show you this one here. I uh, hope this one here brings some good positive energy, but the color of it might not be, you know, boy. Mm -hmm. Kumbaya. Oh, there's nothing wrong with black. Oh, I know that. <laughs> This one here has been made out of regular glass. Unlike this fella here, who is crystal, that's a real mineral, but um, but he's got a lot of presents anyway, big and black. Yeah. Um, black skulls very often are used to draw negativity away from things and, and to dispatch them. And I got this crystal. This here is a pendulum. You can hold it over objects and you can ask it questions and see how it swings. Simple yes and no questions. All right, this one got me scary, bro. We actually sell these guys. It's a sickle, otherwise known to the magical practitioners as a boleen. And it's used for sacrificial workings. I would say, looking at these items here, you have a person who was interested in the occult, but wasn't necessarily a practitioner. So, how much you think I probably can get for this whole little kit right here? For the whole thing? Yeah. Um, well, this guy here, this is your money item. If I had him in the store, I would put him up for two twenty-five. For all of this, I would say four fifty. Boom, shaka! I'm happy with that, bro. Oh my God! What is that? A Ouija board? Oh man! Yeah, it could have some age to it, you know. It might be an interesting piece to have checked out. I'm thinking that a psychic will be able to tell me all about this Ouija board. Can I help you? Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about this board. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about no, this no, no, board. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was hoping that you don't want to deal with that. OK. Looks like this thing's giving everyone the eebie-jeebies. But I know someone who doesn't scare easy. Hello, Nancy. Hey, nice Remember to see you. Remember me? Sure do. I brought her a human skeleton once. So I doubt she'll have a problem with an old piece of wood. Well, what do you think about that? I think I like it. You like that? Oh, yeah. All right. I love these. It's an early Ouija board. It's probably from 1915 to 1917. Your planchette is missing legs, but usually you don't find the planchette at all, so that's pretty cool that you have this. Both people would put their hands on the planchette. You'd ask the spirit a question, and the planchette would move, and it would point to answers like yes or no, or it would spell something out with the letters. What's the value of something like this? This is the first one that they actually produced close to a million of. With the planchette, $350. Really? 350 bucks, not too shabby. Oh my god, you know what that is? My Halloween costume. <laughs> You're so gross. What the? Brandy. What is that? I don't know. It just fell out the bottom. Do you want to see this? Check this out. Oh my god. What is it? Maybe 
keep the chemicals out of your ears? I don't know. It looks like suspenders. <laughs> Do you put it on your junk? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's old, and I definitely think we should get this checked out. This one, this is your basic Russian gas mask, probably 1970s, 1980s vintage. OK. This is kind of stuff. If you put it on, I'm really sorry. Huh. You think it's clean, you think it's dry, you put it on again, you start sweating, and it reactivates the gas, and it'll get stuck in the pores. I don't know what he's talking about. I feel fine. So what is this thing for? This is the canister that would have been filled with gauze and charcoal. You hook it up right into the mask itself. OK. Then you hook it up into the canister, you unscrew it, and that's all they did to protect soldiers from gas. And this is exactly what I thought it was yeah, going to be. Yeah, they're like weird pants. Where do you oh, put your legs? Right here off the side. See? Me, 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 me. This is a Soviet Union horse gas mask. <laughs> is that right? Because the Russians were still using horses for combat all the way up until the 90s. Wow. So this would go on the snout of the horse, and this would go back over the horse's ear. These are filters on the side in case of a gas attack. That's not going to be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've seen everything, what do you think it's worth? A gas mask. In that condition, $25. It's just still very, very common. This is military only. Well, and a few weird fetish sites. This is great for military collecting. It looks like it's never been worn. The rubber is still very supple. I would say it's about 375. 400 bucks. Appreciate your time, Thank man. You. Appreciate all the information. Thanks. We're here. There's a bunch of more dirty, dusty stuff. What the heck? What is all this stuff? Oh, wow. wow. Oh, Skeleton God. stuff. These are bizarre. Look at this. This is a snake, probably. That's definitely a snake. You think you know your reptiles. That yes, I know. I do. Does that creep you out? No. Oh, that, that creeps me out. That's a bird. That's a bird. You can tell by the beak right ah! there. Would that be fun for me and you to go get this stuff checked out? Very fun. This is the stuff that I called you about. Ooh, this guy is a bat. You know what's cool about bats? What? The wings are their hands. Oh, wow. These are the fingers that have been elongated and turned oh, into wow. wings. This looks like a bird. Mm-hmm. Definitely a bird. You can tell by the beak. I'll bet that's a Peregrine falcon. Um, looks like a crow. No, no, no. That's a falcon. Look at the size of the beak. No, I kind of think that Zoe is probably right. And this, I think, it's a squirrel. How can you tell it's a squirrel? Well, it's a rodent, and you can tell it's a rodent because of the skull. You see the orange incisors. Rodents always have yellow or orange incisors. Oh, wow. It's a little morbid to me. Oh, well. It's a snake. That smells really bad. Ideally, you have this in a controlled situation with beetles eating the flesh off, and then you get it out before they get through the connective tissue. Beetles eating the flesh off. It's interesting. Yeah. So, Diana, can you tell me what is this worth? I yeah, kind of am suspecting, looking at them, uh, that um, this is actually illegal to sell. Illegal? Yeah, you're not supposed to sell roadkill. Do you know what? Because you like these bones, I think I'll just let you keep them. Cool. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!